The ARCS model of motivational design. History of the ARCS model. Research indicates that prior to 1979, there were no large-scale theories or models that precisely addressed the question, how does one design instruction that would inspire the motivation to learn? The ARCS model is based on Tolman and Lewin's expect expectancy value theory, which asserts that people are motivated to learn if there is a value in the knowledge taught and if there seems to be a promising expectation for success. The ARCS model was created by coming up with a large list of motivational strategy statements. Then Keller and others sorted the strategies to provide categorization. All these motivational strategies came from research and from practices that have motivated learners. Strategies came from research in the main areas of focusing on human motivation, from handbooks, and from interviews with practitioners. The strategy statements were then sorted into two categories in 1979. Keller added two more categories in 1983. So what is the ARCS model? Keller took his findings and developed four simple steps for promoting and sustaining motivation. A. Attention. The learner's attention can be gained by either exciting the learner's senses, making the learner curious, and or varying your methods of presenting the content. Examples would be games for active participation, variety of the delivery of instruction for variability, humor, and brainstorming activities that would provide inquiry. R. Relevance. The content should be appropriate for the audience's learning need and the content presentation should be relatable to the audience. Uh, I think the easiest example here would be explaining why the content they are, or skill they are about to learn will be vital to them in the future. C. Confidence. The learner should be given an opportunity to practice the learning. Thus, the learning should be reinforced through constructive feedback. Rubrics are obvious here, um, but make sure you are providing very good feedback. S. Satisfaction. The learner should know that the learning objective was met at the end of the learning experience. A physical certificate is a good reminder that to students a validation that they have mastered something. Um, you can give uh, rewards and tokens, but just don't do it that often, Keller says. And again, it's just very vital that you follow all four steps in the correct order to see optimal results. And again, a, a benefit for using this model is that it saves you a lot of time because it is very simple. Research paper one is titled Motivating E-Learners, Application of the ARCS Model Up to E-Learning for San Diego Zoo Global's Animal Care Professionals. Marshall and Matthew use the ARC model, which you can see below, um, to you know, basically see and have an effective um, e-learning platform for uh, trainers at the San Diego Zoo. And um, this case study highlights the importance of motivational design in the e-learning situations. Research paper number two is titled Digital Game-Based Learning Supports Student Motivation, Cognitive Success, and Performance Outcomes. Wu did this study in 2014, and you can see the ARCS models below. The results um, confirmed that computer-aided manufacturing skills and cognitive learning can promote learner motivation in the aspects of the ARCS model. For practical development of the ARCS model in my advanced placement United States History classroom, I would use this especially for learning the rubrics for the long essay question. You can earn six points with this College Board rubric. And it's not that students don't know how to write, they just don't understand the rubric. So I would spend one day a week focusing on a certain skill so they can gain confidence. In the first week, I would focus on getting the students to understand what they have to do to get the six points. For attention, I would first throw a curveball for the students by having a opinionated, more um, fun, hook question when they come in they're used to having a uh, history history related warm-up question and this would might be something like who is the better the best superhero superman or spider-man or what's the best candy bar twix or snickers so they'd have to come up with a thesis without realizing they are doing that then i would show the daniel jocks video which there's a picture of that below on youtube uh, about the long essay question video and it provides lots of fun images fun movie quotes it really gets the students involved for relevance to make it relatable 
I would explain how this type of writing is the same kind I did in college for my history classes and my English classes. I also have some emails from former students uh, saying how you know the college writing is on point with what they're doing in this class. So they can really see that if they really invest in these writing skills that they should be able to um, reap the benefits in college. For confidence, I would go over my version of the rubric. Then I would give students, first I actually would put them in groups and then give them um, not a blank rubric, but an almost blank rubric. They'd have to fill it in. And then they'd raise their hand and I'd give them the next thing, which would be two sample essays that they would grade using those rubrics to kind of apply that and gain confidence. And then once they've mastered that, I would tell them to go back into their individual seats and fill out that same blank rubric that was in step two individually. Then once they've raised their hand and I see that they have mastered that, they have more of an understanding. For satisfaction, I would give them a certificate of mastery of understanding the long essay question rubric. So it proves that they understand the six components they have to do. And there is a picture of my rubric. So I would add some blanks for the for um, the confidence part of the ARCS model. And here are my references.